Hi everybody, thank you for watching Real Attitude Fishing. My name is Paul. Today Sana and I are out here catching creek chubs for bait. We're gonna um, cure them. I'll show you how I do that and uh, use them for the winter. So, hope you enjoy. Start off by getting some water in our makeshift bucket here. <clears throat> you don't need anything fancy. Fill it about halfway. And then I, uh, I actually put some salt in there, in the bucket, in the water. Um, it's just something I do. I don't know if you're actually supposed to quote unquote do that, but that's what I do. And I don't use any fancy salt, just the Great Value brand, which is Walmart. Regular salt with no iodine. Get, I know. Get out of there. Jelly, it's salt. And I, and I put a um, good bit in there. I think it gets the salt in the inside of the fish and cures them from the inside out, I guess. I don't know. It's just something I like to do. Shake it up a little. bait and there's a creek chub sana just caught one that's what we're gonna keep for our bait for winter thank you for uh you youtubers out there that watch my channel and um told me that these were creek chubs so that gave me a chance to look them up see what likes to eat them so what we use to catch them is uh waxies as well as we use pieces of cut up earthworms as well these are the the hooks you use actually when you're using crickets but I like to use them mostly because they can come really small. Um, I just set out some paper towel, a couple layers of it, um, lay each fish on there, uh, give it a little bit of space, but get them on there as best as you can. This isn't a, like, it's not like I'm selling these, so I don't need it perfect. It's just for us to use. I set them all on the paper towel, like so. Get them dried off as best as I can just so they uh, aren't so wet in the salt. I pat dry them. Don't try to sm don't push too hard because you'll smush them. They're not a super hardy fish. But they end up actually quite hardy once they're, once they're cured. So I pat them dry and then I uh, Set them in some salt. I, I, in this case, I'm using a um, ice cream bucket. It's the exact same salt that I put in the water earlier. Not iodized salt. I put a little bit in the bottom, just to give it some coverage on the bottom. So any fish on that bottom layer actually lay in the salt, not just on the bottom of the bucket. A smaller container would be better because you probably use less salt but anyways um, this is what I had so um, put one layer in there put a layer of salt on top of those and then I lay the next layer of um, fish on top of that
then another layer of salt and keep going until all the bait are in there. Once they're all in there, I let them sit. The Wisconsin DNR um, requests that we cure them for at least 14 days. That's about as long as I leave them in there. Sometimes I forget I did it, so it'll be a little longer than that. I caught them, I uh, cover it with cheesecloth. Usually, this is not an actual cheesecloth, but it's the best I had at the moment. So I cover them, let them sit for two weeks. After they've cured for two weeks, I um, vacuum seal them, about eight per package. That's about all we use when Sana and I are out there um, ice fishing, is about eight baits. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. See you next time.